What's up, this your boy Boss, and welcome back to the channel, man. As always, I appreciate you guys coming through and checking out the vlogs, man. But today, we're gonna be giving you guys a full little update on the fish room, because I changed a lot of things. I've been down here working, grinding, cleaning tanks, moving fish around, rescaping tanks. There's just been a lot going on, so I'm gonna give you guys a little update on that. I appreciate all the love you guys been giving me, man. We almost had 11K Boss family members, man. So if you haven't already, man, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and turn on your post notifications so you can be notified when we drop these videos because i drop videos every day every other day or every every other day who knows but we always got bangers coming man so tap in subscribe to the channel and get locked in and shout out to all the people i've seen in aquashella man you guys show so much love and support man it's just crazy man i love this family that we're building over here man so let's keep growing it but enough of that let's get this video started all right guys your boy been down here grinding man i literally deep clean like 30 some tanks today move fish around rescape tank it was just crazy man so we're just gonna go around and look at some of these tanks and see what's going on check on these discus though i know you guys haven't seen them they always looking phenomenal and it's not a glare <laughs> dang look at that shot that's a nice shot at that angel yeah hey, what these guys are doing phenomenal these plants in here are doing huh they doing all right they were growing immersed, so they just going through their little change right now. You can see a lot of these new roots that's starting to come up down here. Uh, not new roots, but new growth. So eventually it will transition. That one back there is kind of already starting. You see nice green, strong plant. So it's doing really good. But check this out over here, man. This this bass over here. While I was gone, Aquashella, this dude that messed around and caught it. Let me see if I can get a shot on that. But he didn't mess around, caught egg, and I believe what happened is because um, before I left, I had put like 20 um, feeder like rosies in here, and I normally don't feed them that because I feed them like you know feeders and stuff that I grow in house. But I went ahead and just fed him that because I knew I was gonna be gone for a few days. I want to make sure he can just eat whenever he wanted. But I believe that he got egg from those feeders. Um, so he's not looking the hottest right now. There, that's a good shot. You can really see uh, what he's looking like right now. So he's not really looking the hottest. But he's still swimming. He's still eating. He's doing good. I am going to um, start treating him tomorrow. And I will uh, keep you guys updated on that process and how everything works out. Because, ooh, yeah, it's not bad, but he definitely has ick. And I thought, my, I thought it might be like stress ick because... Uh, there is a clown in there. I thought maybe putting him in there could have stressed him out. But the clown hides all the time, and the bass just really has the whole tank to just do what he wants. So I don't think that's what it is. I think it was literally those minnows or those rosies. So we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated on that. Hopefully he uh, does well. This tank over here, you guys probably remember, but it was full of, like, hornwort and duckweed. It was just cover you couldn't even see the fish that was in here so i went ahead and just scrapped all that and used some of that duck duckweed and hornwort some different like guppy tanks and stuff like that and i just wanted to open this tank up a little bit more because you can see like these plants back here if we get a good focus on them they starting to brown out and that's because they wasn't getting any light so now i can kind of get some of these crypts to start to grow because they wasn't even doing nothing um, and then I, we could see our fish. And when I looked and took out our homework, I'm like, I got a, tons of new babies. Kind of hard to see them. Let's get a little closer. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see them, but there's tons of new babies in there. These black Moscow's are definitely breeding. And then we end up taking out, taking out about 40 bristlenose pleco babies out of here. So I got about probably about 100 of them in here, low key. But I took 40 of them out and put them with a couple of them, two and a half, kind of split them off. And then we'll let the rest of these ones grow up in here. And I'm sure they're going to just keep it reproducing because they all never see the male. All he does is just hide back there in his little cave and produce. That's what he does. So shout out to him. Keep them coming because I love me some bristle nose. That way I can put them in like every tank down here and sell some and do my thing. So this tank got a little new look. You know, I probably am going to plant some different, um, different type of plants because I want to do more plants in these type of aquariums and kind of like put the horn word in different tanks. But this one, I'm gonna leave it open for right now. And just add some different type of plants. Look at the bass over here trying to eat them through the tank. You're looking at them like, man, I'm hungry. I'm gonna definitely feed him if 
car not over because he is flare uh, ready. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, but yeah, this tank over here is, is starting to look really good. Um, it's going through its little cycle, but the tank is starting to like, you know, do its thing now. It's starting to look really good. Now, I've been thinking about adding the exodons to this tank. I'm going to show you guys the exodons here in a second, but I've been thinking about adding the exodons to this tank. What do you guys think about that? Because, you know, the exodons are like real fast swimmers, so I don't know if it's going to like disturb these fish because they're not really swimming very fast. They are pretty aggressive when it's food in, but like far as swimming fast, they're not very fast swimmers. But this aquarium lily is taking off. That's like one of my favorite aquarium plants next to the vow and the crypts. I love them. But this tank is doing good, man. But yeah, let me know in the comment section. Should we add them in here or should we put the Exodon with the Giant Daniels? I don't know, but I want to do something else. And this dang Pleco in here. I just clean this tank and look at that. That's one thing I don't like about these regular Plecos. Bristle Nose is cool. They don't poop as much, but these regular Plecos, that's a chocolate Pleco right here. Do be just doing the most. But yeah, this tank doing good. Oh yeah, I added some a little frog bit in there just to give it some life. You know, I do want to plant it some more. Just haven't bought any new plants recently. So definitely to get some more plants for that. But it's looking good. Now this tank over here, you guys uh, probably remember I had like all the lake tank and these in here. But I ended up taking them out and you can see I rescaped this whole aquarium. It looks totally different now. Same rock, just placed differently. And I added in a bunch of different plants. So we got some crypts, different type of crypts over here. It's looking good. Some vowel. I think that's some regular jungle vowel. Might have some coarse screw vowel in here, some tiger vowel. Who knows? I just love all the vowels. And then I added another little, I think this is a dwarf aquarium lily right here. Um, but you see this bubble still all over the plants because I just refilled this tank back up. And that's why I wanted to get those Shelly's out of here because this is a dirty tank. If you guys remember from the Fish Room Build videos, this is a dirty tank. So I wanted to, you know, play with some plants and stuff. And I'm going to put some different type of fish in this aquarium. So I kind of want to get them out of there. And I'm going to show you where they at here in a minute. But, um, yeah, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. You know, I get bored with my tanks after a while. I look at them like, oh, I got to do something different, man. And I get bored with them. So I'm always changing stuff and playing with things and trying new scapes and I love the natural look and you know so that's the vibe for that one over there look at this dude right here he flared up right now don't run his fins a little beat up because I don't know who's fighting in here but they ain't here fighting so I'm gonna actually get I don't know what's going on like he only been there for like two days and he's just he's I don't know what's going on so and he's the biggest one so who's fighting if it could be this jewel might have to get whoa I'm scaring everybody but it might be the jewel cichlid or it could be the other fire mount we can see his fins is tore up so i don't know what that's about and i actually just noticed that because he normally hides so i'm just now noticing that live right now so we definitely need to get worked on that asap get him out of there over here we got some um our zebra bleeping babies they doing good getting fat I added some more filtration and water flowing here so you can see how they swimming against the current now so hopefully it helps them grow just a little bit faster I'm hoping let's check out these exodons over here man i went ahead and did like a 90 percent water change on them today so uh you can see they out here looking good swimming i love these fish man they're definitely getting their appetite back because I had the temperature was too low down here. So I finally got their temperature where they like and uh, they're eating again. Love these fish. They're not that active right now because it's late, but when they hungry, they be swimming flared up. But yeah, let me know. Should I add those guys to the other aquariums? I think that'd be super dope. I love them fish. But I'm kind of bored with them. So I rescaped a tank and, you know, I took a bunch of plants out there and put different tanks. So it's just empty right now. Just that wood and them. So I don't know. This tank over here is super cloudy for some reason. I don't know. Must be going through a little bloom. But I had rescaped this whole tank today and um, added some new plants and 
just trying things, man. I just want to, I get bored with stuff. I want stuff to look different. So I'm just trying things. I got a bunch of these plants from um, Aquashella from Lucas. So just trying some plants and always playing with stuff. That's the thing about the hobby, man. We, you got to like enjoy it and play with different things and just see what you like, really. Let me turn this light off right here. I feel like this is like, wow, I got like a crazy glare. Uh, I don't know. But yeah, this tank still the same. I think there's a uh, zebra oblique one baby in here somewhere living. I don't know. But there's one little baby zebra oblique one that I just still been living. I'm gonna leave him in there top, add some new fish. But I went ahead and set up this tank today also. Ooh, a nice little rotalia in there. Little swords, couple cribs. You know, these are the type of plants that I like. Simple, easy, low life plants that grow. Don't have to add too much to them. This is the type of stuff that I like. And I put some more frog bit in here too that I took out of my planted tank down there. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. You know, I might put something that breeding collie in there. I might just have, I don't know. I'm That's just the thing about having all these tanks. You can just decide what you wanna do. So I really don't know what I'm gonna do. Look at this tank over here though. Electric blue car looking good. I might put that fire mouth in here low key because I mean he's aggressive, but you can see how he's beat up like that. He might not even be that aggressive. So I might get him healed back up and put him in here or somewhere. Everybody looking super good. Down here, I went ahead and moved those uh Shelly's into here. So these are the breviuses, so I added them down in this tank with these little shells and stuff. They doing good. Already getting a new little um, hiding spots or hopefully they can start breeding though. That's what I want them to start doing. So they was already showing that type of activity when it was in the other aquarium. So hopefully they can continue doing that in here. This is like a little 10 gallon, but I'm sure they will still do what they do because they're smaller fish and they'll just like section themselves off in them shells and just hold their little own as you guys remember we had recently picked up these uh guppies from mike's and they have already started to produce i'm starting to see some little fry in here so that's always exciting super happy about that fat female she ended up dropping so she's still fat like she want to have some more but they doing good with these guys on hiding right now they got a bunch of babies in one of those two and a half so that's the male back up in there hiding and another female back there but they already got breeding can't wait till them grow out and I have a bunch of them we got we got all these mollies they're gonna be coming out of here though but I can't really give it away because that's for another video but all these mollies are gonna be going to a situation with some other fish and it's gonna be super dope so Stay tuned for that. These are some swords. I wish I could see that male. Where that male at? Oh, I can't see the male. But he's in there. He's super beautiful. Look at this dude. He just want to be in the camera. Now, I think this a female, man, because that nuclear hump ain't growing. I think this is a female. Let me know in the comment section what y'all think. Beautiful fish regardless, though. Love that fish. What else going on over here? I'm over here looking at the tanks while I'm filming because I've really been so busy that I haven't had a chance to look at my tank with my female. She's chilling. The male just shot back behind there. I got so many of them. More than I need. These uh, cherry shrimp down here are starting to take off though. I've been noticing there's tons of these little cherry shrimp down here. They doing a thing. Loving that. I've been seeing some real fat ones in there. Look, they hanging all up over the horn work. This is where I put most of all my extra horn work in that. But that's like some Christmas moss and stuff. So just this is my first time ever trying to like breed shrimp to be honest. So I don't really know what the water water parameters and all that. So I'm learning as I go. If you guys have any expertise, let me know in the comment section. You know? We all learning out here. Just get a little 
little check up on our Kerbinci babies though. They are getting nice and big, loving that. I want to remove them, but the parents take so good care of them. It's like, should I just leave them in here and let them just do that thing? Oh, I almost fell. <laughs> but yeah, should I leave them in here and let them do that thing? Let me know, man. The parents take care of them very well. Man, look at that one. It's fat. Where are the parents at? Oh. See the other one's probably hiding somewhere. But yeah, there's so much going on down here. Definitely gonna be getting some more fish, a lot of more fish, because um, there's a lot of stuff I wanna breed and get into. But it just gotta get around to that. Looking good. Look at all them colors. It's a terrible glare. I'm thinking about changing all my lights down here though, low key. Like the lights is cool, it illuminates the room, but I think I'm like, wanna do something different. Something that is not drawing as much power and something a little bit more dimmer, but also brightens the room up to where like when I'm filming, it's not like so dark down here. Uh, but we'll see how that work out. Definitely gonna be finishing this up in an upcoming video, so stay tuned for that. We're gonna have water in all these set up i'm gonna just show you guys make a whole little video about that so stay tuned for that over here we got all these little bristle nose plecos that i got out of the 10 gallon i mean that 55 earlier see there's tons of plecos up in here tons and tons of plecos little zero bleeping babies over here there's some uh African that I showed you, the stay babies right here, eating up all that moan, getting fat, gotta keep it going. This tank over here, I don't really show this tank a lot because it's just the lightness, but this is where I grow all my plants, so I got an abundance of plants in here, and I, and I just leave them in here, and when I'm ready to re- escape a tank i come in here and pick all my plants just the lighting's just horrible on this tank like super horrible but yeah that's gonna be pretty much it for today's video man just wanted to give you guys a little update on some things that have changed um that i haven't been recording because sometimes i just can't record everything i gotta get work done it take too long to try to record and uh get stuff done so spent about 12 hours a day doing water changes and moving stuff around and just enjoying the fish room so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i hope you guys enjoy all the videos man if you're new around here subscribe to the channel it don't cost you anything turn on the post notifications put the notifications on all so that way you can be notified when all these videos drop because youtube do be tripping and we trying to put everybody videos out there so make sure you got your notifications to all going around just feeding right now Gotta feed the fish. Gots to feed the fish. But yeah, leave me some suggestions below. Leave those comments below. If you learned anything, if you seen anything in this video, you might have any questions about, leave that below. I'm sure somebody in the comment section can help you. But yeah, so just make sure you guys stay locked in, man. Stay in tune. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out of here.